you know right here we bring you any mad artists people who know what they're doing people who are talented and right like right um right there was kid rucha he'll be telling us about himself we'll get to know him and another funny cafe kidogo so that you know we can hear it from the horse's mouth you know kid rucha how are you good you're good yeah. welcome to the show uh thank you thank you for having happy me. halloween so uh, happy don't halloween. be surprised by you know our look sirani kuna there's a lot going on you guys look good <laughs> thank you <laughs> you look the season eh? <laughs> yes mm -hmm. we should have given you a memo yeah, okay. to, to 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 dress up uh you next give time. me a memo next yes, time yeah yes, basically next yeah. time we'll give you a memo but but i'm in black <laughs> you're in black black is uh the okay oh, oh, they associate they associate with, with darkness and okay, stuff you know? right, right. halloween basically yes okay. Gothic, yeah, mm -hmm. straight up. Yes, yeah, so welcome to the show. Thank you. Kindly introduce yourself to the people watching back at home and tell them who Kid Rucha is. Uh, this is Kid Rucha, K I D R U C H A, an urban hip hop artist mm -hmm. uh, based in Kenya, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been doing music for, music for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, How long is a while? It's been a while. <laughs> if, you, if you're counting, like, <laughs> ever since I started writing rhymes, yeah. Uh -huh. Since 2013, that is a little over uh, maybe nine years. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes, yeah. But I started doing it professionally. I'd say uh -huh. maybe in 2017. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is when I started um, mm -hmm. pushing myself. Yes. Under, yeah. So how has the experience been for you? It's been humbling. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know when you st when you started out in high school. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was about uh, spitting rhymes yes. in talent shows. Mm -hmm. Maybe get the girls and stuff, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it got to a point whereby it is not really about that. We're trying to make something of it, mm -hmm. so it's been humbling. Mm -hmm. It gets to a point whereby uh, you go, you go, go through so much stress. Mm -hmm. You put in so much work. You put, you dish out money uh, in recording, mm -hmm. um, making videos, and it's not really paying off, you know. So it, it's humbling. Yes. It gets to a point where you just cool down and and go back to the drawing board and mm -hmm. and come up with a master plan mm -hmm. yeah, so it's been humbling and yes. frustrating but mm -hmm. it's really fun mm -hmm. going through the process is very interesting mm -hmm. yeah, yeah all right so um in the nine years that you have been doing music mm -hmm. you know uh, especially since you started officially and pushing yourself yeah, yeah. do you feel like you have grown in your craft you know the way you write your rhymes mm -hmm. the way you your your your, your videos have they grown Definitely. Uh -huh. uh, I'd, st uh, I'd start with my craft, yeah, mm -hmm. my lyrics, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, started starting out. I had those baby rhymes and mm -hmm. stuff, you know. Uh, <laughs> what are baby rhymes? Baby rhymes. Do you remember something you wrote back in the day? Or wow. what were you writing about? You've talked about, you know, writing to get mm -hmm. girls and everything. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, that is how I started out. Yeah, uh -huh. it was about the hype. Uh -huh. uh, but looking at the far come mm -hmm. with my writing, mm -hmm. with my writing skill, mm -hmm. basically my skill in general, mm -hmm. yeah, I've actually improved. I've improved a, a great deal, mm -hmm. and I'm really proud of myself for that. Uh, I'm not the same artist I was mm -hmm. those few years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a, okay. Uh, uh, let me say I'm not I'm not the same rapper I was those few, yes, few years exactly. ago. Right now I'm an artist. Yeah, I'm doing it on a professional level. Mm -hmm. You definitely have grown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So could you give us like a freestyle before we continue freestyle. the interview? Yes. Continue the interview. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, can I get the mic, uh, mic okay. or something? Kuma nuva he game, checking it tough, my bro. But either way, to na stay the course, check him a vast nina stock, each one when he come a depot. Bado drip ni ilem vua ya cats and dogs beat na rip ni kishikilia by row Raps ni clean hakuna eti ma typos Niko tayari kuwakilisha waki daimo I do it vicious, I'm on a mission going viral Be a shara na piga toka Nairobi to Cairo Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So um in um those years you have been doing music, mm -hmm. who have you interacted with and what has been your highest my high your high high, yes. Like uh, near this moment mm -hmm. I'll remember this one for life. Uh I'd say uh, maybe I haven't reached my ultimate high, mm -hmm. but I've reached a few highs. Mm -hmm. Okay, compared to the lows, mm -hmm. I've reached a few highs too, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'd say maybe it was in 2017, mm -hmm. or by uh, I got to 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 involve myself in rap battling. Mm -hmm. uh, there were these Bafoba Bafoba rap battles um, in at the Alchemist. They, mm -hmm. they, were, they used to be hosted by Barak Jacuzzi, if mm -hmm. you know the guy. Yes. Uh, so at one point, mm -hmm. I tried a few rounds from round two, round four, came through to round six. I won round six of the Bafoba. 
I won the cash prize and of course mm -hmm. some bragging rights. Okay. I don't know, it's one of the highest I've actually experienced, uh -huh. yeah? Mm -hmm. Aside from that... And that uh, is around the time you started officially, right? I, I, I started pushing myself yes. here. I'd, uh -huh. I was already good with writing that rhymes and stuff. That must have been very encouraging. Very encouraging, yeah. Uh -huh. Seeing people cheer you up and stuff, uh -huh. having my homies with me there, mm -hmm. winning, the, winning the money, it was, it was really good. Mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, it was a high, it was a, I'd say it was a, it was a high point, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, it was an right. encouraging moment yeah, uh -huh. like that I need to go on. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so um, you have worked on a lot of things. Yeah, you true. Know? You have several mixtapes on your YouTube mm -hmm. channel, you mm -hmm. have an EP, and you're also working on an album. Yeah, straight Before up. Before we even get to the album, tell us about, you know, your mixtapes, your mm -hmm. EPs, and why you felt like those needed to come before the album. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. First, I'd, I'd begin by, by saying that an album takes so much mm -hmm. work, mm -hmm. uh, so much dedication. Mm -hmm. Uh, you put a record on the album, mm -hmm. you feel like it doesn't fit, mm -hmm. you remove it. But I think, I think for, 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 mix, for mixtapes or EPs, yeah, mm -hmm. they are, I'd, I'd say they're just, they, they, they are uh, a compilation of some records maybe you, you've been working on. Mm -hmm. But an album takes, I feel mm -hmm. like it takes, you, you need to put something that is good in there, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd, I'd begin, I, I had my first, uh, my first mixtape, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when, 2016, just after high school, I cleared mm -hmm. high school in 2015. So in 20, 20, 2016, I released my, my first mixtape. Mm -hmm. It was called Rap Da Vinci EP. Ah, it, it wasn't a mixtape, it was an EP. Mm -hmm. Rap mm -hmm. Da Vinci EP. Okay. Uh, that mm -hmm. was in 2016, it had mm -hmm. like five tracks. Mm -hmm. uh, went on in 2017, mm -hmm. I think also released an EP. Uh, it had around a little over maybe four tracks. Mm -hmm. I had one of my favorite records ever. Uh, two favorite records. One mm -hmm. was Tutafika mm -hmm. and Hustle. Yes. Yeah, they're on my YouTube. Mm -hmm. Then 2018, mm -hmm. a mixtape mm -hmm. called Lips and Bounds. Mm -hmm. uh, it had 10 records. Mm -hmm. I feel like that one really introduced me into the game. Okay. I, I had more people engage with me mm -hmm. on my social media handles, engage mm -hmm. with my music, you know. Mm -hmm. So Lips and Bounds came out in 2018. Mm -hmm. Then I had Gems by Yours Truly. Mm -hmm. If I haven't skipped anything, mm -hmm. I had Gems by Yours Truly EP. Mm -hmm. I released it. Yeah, in, there are that many. You yeah, even yeah. You, yeah, yeah. you might be forgetting something. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I had Project Twenty One in uh -huh. twenty nineteen. Uh -huh. uh, when I turned twenty one. Yes. Yeah, it, it had a few tracks, uh -huh. and then I had twenty twenty. That is, during the COVID, mm -hmm. I was able to write a four track EP. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite EPs also. Mm -hmm. I had I had more people engage with it. Mm -hmm. It had it had a record record called Maintain. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Mm -hmm. I listened to it and marvel at how, <laughs> how I came up with that record. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that was in 2020. Mm -hmm. 2021, I had uh, Before Stardom. Mm -hmm. That one was my other mixtape. Mm -hmm. It came out in, on January 14th mm -hmm. of 2021. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it had, it had 10 records also. Then later that year, I came up with another mixtape. Mm -hmm. It's called Rowan and Cut Mixtape. Mm -hmm. It had a compilation of some freestyles okay. I did. Mm -hmm. uh, there were eight records. Mm -hmm. And then we are in 2022. Mm -hmm. 2022, I'm yet to release the album. Okay, I'm so now tell album. us about that album that you have been, you know, putting all your work yeah, in. Yeah. Okay, I, I announced it sometime last year, time mm -hmm. like this, as I was still releasing the records. I released the records for the Rowan and Cut Mixtape one by one. Mm -hmm. I was releasing two each month. Yeah till they reached uh, mm -hmm. eight mm -hmm. when it was reaching uh, around December oh, there. Okay. So I announced the album around November. I was actually to release it this year in February, mm -hmm. but then I felt like the records weren't uh, to, to, to a certain level. So mm -hmm. I felt like I, I needed to, to, to add more records. Mm -hmm. And so I have been pushing, I've been pushing, mm -hmm. I've been pushing it to, uh, to November. I pushed yes. it to November. Uh -huh. I've been pushing it forward that I release it. November is just November a few is days here. Away. Yeah, right. Yeah, so right now so I'm doing the media tours and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to garner some traction on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like uh, uh, the engagement is picking up. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like in time more people will will catch up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. So uh, I should talk about it here. Yeah? Yes, just a, uh, yeah. the. How uh, many tracks does it have? Uh, it has 14 tracks. Mm -hmm. Uh, technically, it has 11 records, but three mm -hmm. of the records are interludes. Mm -hmm. They're like breaks in okay. between, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Head in the Sky. Mm -hmm. I'm a person who's fond of stars and, mm -hmm. and the universe. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's Head in the Sky. Uh, technically, Head in the Sky in, in literature or mm -hmm. maybe in, in English, mm -hmm. it means that um, I'm, I'm, I'm alone in my own space. Mm -hmm. I'm completely, unaffect, completely unaffected by what is are happening What's around happening? me. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm not distracted by anything. Nothing, nothing can come and stop me from, 
from from heading towards the, the goal that I'm set out to to mm -hmm. achieve. Mm -hmm. So head in the sky is about it's about purpose, it's about mm -hmm. focus and attitude. Uh, purpose in the sense that uh, the goal that I'm out to achieve, mm -hmm. uh, focus. Uh, it could be related to, to, to the mindset of an eagle. Okay. The, the eagle is fearless and it goes mm -hmm. after what it wants. Yes. So that is a focus bit. Mm -hmm. And the attitude, the attitude I've mastered is that uh, I'm standing my ground, you mm -hmm. won't distract me. Yeah? You won't distract me. That is the attitude. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not laughing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm harsh. Mm -hmm. You won't distract me, you know? Yeah. That is the attitude um, uh -huh. that, that comes out in the album. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have a cover art for the yeah, album? Yeah, I have a cover art for the uh -huh. album. I have a cover art for the album. Uh, I, I wish I could give it to, to, uh, yeah, to the producer, uh -huh. but let me explain it. Yeah? I can already imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, my head is in the sky. Yeah? Uh -huh. uh, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing a graduation gown, mm -hmm. uh, and then my head is, is in the sky mm -hmm. with the graduation hat. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the head in the sky with the graduation hat, the, the graduation hat basically signifies a graduation into something else. Yeah? My graduation from a rapper into an artist, my graduation mm -hmm. into something better, my transformation, yeah? Okay. Uh, so on the sides, on the cover, there are stars. Mm -hmm. There is the crescent moon. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the stars symbolize, uh, they, they symbolize ambition. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the crescent moon uh, symbolizes uh, transcendence mm -hmm. or, 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 a, or a transformative process, okay. yeah? Uh, yeah, basically. I, th I, think, okay. I, I think that is everything, yeah? We need yeah? to take a look at it. It sounds, you know, yeah, yeah. like it's, giving a lot of what you had put, like yeah, you basically. had put a lot of thought into yeah, it. Yeah, I put a lot of thought into yes. it. Yeah. So is the work done for the album? Yeah, the, the work is ready. Are you going to release all the songs together? Or yeah. are you going to release like um, the, the the very last EP you did? Yeah. You know, you said you released two songs per yeah, month. Yeah, two songs per also. month, yeah. So are you going to do the same with the album or are you just going to release everything together? No, no, I'm, I'm going to release the whole body of work. Mm -hmm. It will be out on all streaming platforms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm also... I'm, I'm, I'm also pre preparing, I'm, I'm, I'm reading some hard copies, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, nowadays people don't use CDs. Yes. So I'm reading some, some flash discs, yeah? Okay. Uh, branded cool. flash discs mm -hmm. with, the, with mm -hmm. basically with the, my logo and stuff. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that is what I'll be selling. Uh -huh. uh, to, 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 I'd, I'd, I'd call them uh, my fans, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, the people who are willing to support me. Mm -hmm. I'd sell it to them, mm -hmm. yeah, basically. Uh, and also, uh, like I've said, mm. uh, the records will be out on all digital platforms, mm -hmm. yeah, streaming right. the online so platforms. By, by November? By November. I haven't it's given the date yet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I've just been saying November. Uh -huh. I'm yet to, to say the to, date. To, but to, I, to, I just to released the, 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 yes. the track list some, mm -hmm. maybe a week ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. So where can people find you on social media so that they can follow up on, you know, the album and as they wait for it? I am Kid Rucha. Mm -hmm. You can write that. Kid Rucha on all platforms, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, K I D R U C H A on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I could add something, yeah, okay. about what my music is about, is, mm -hmm. is that okay? Mm -hmm. uh, basically, uh, I'd, 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 I'd define or maybe describe my music as, as eccentric. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really adhere to the common standards or mm -hmm. say in the Kenyan market or Kenyan industry. Mm -hmm. It doesn't adhere to the common standards whereby mm -hmm. maybe it's about the, the partying and mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. girls and okay, mm -hmm. I, I grew out of that. I felt like that is how I started out. Uh -huh. I grew out of that. I, I, f I felt like I needed to, 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 to push something different. Mm -hmm. to, I, I looked at my inner self and figured out that I could actually inspire one or two people, mm -hmm. uh, like-minded people mm -hmm. with sharing the same dream as I am. Mm -hmm. So I'd, 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 I'd also de describe my music as, or rather my lyrics as, mm -hmm. as a manifestation mm -hmm. of maybe the life I want to achieve, you know? Okay, okay. Uh, what, what is manifestation is mm -hmm. turning ideas to reality. Mm -hmm. Through my thoughts, I turn ideas to reality. To reality so through yes. my lyrics, I turn these ideas to, yeah, to reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a person who's fond of the law of attraction on mm -hmm. such talks. Mm -hmm. So basically, technically, that is what my music is, is about. That is what your music is yeah. about. Mm -hmm. yes. So you mm -hmm. manifest what you want in your music. Yeah, basically, because it works. I've, uh -huh. I've seen, I've, uh -huh. I've, I've, I've read about artists, mm -hmm. I've listened to their music. Mm -hmm. I've read about artists coming from nothing, you know, mm -hmm. and being being able to get everything that they ever desired. Mm -hmm. So I also feel like that is a possibility for me. Mm -hmm. And and if I speak it out, mm -hmm. someone else will feel like it is a possibility for them for because them. it will happen for me. Mm -hmm. It will also happen, happen for them, for them. Yeah, yes. basically. All right, um, our time is up, and um, I want us to listen to on the record. Mm -hmm. So I'd, um, maybe in just two words, tell us what the record is about. Uh, by any means. Uh -huh. Oh, by any means. By, it's called mm -hmm. By Any Means. Mm -hmm. It is the second record of the album. Okay. Yeah? Okay. It has, it has mm -hmm. come first. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say maybe it's the signature record. Mm -hmm. So By Any Means, uh, the hook goes like, 
I live by the code, I'll mm. get it by any means, mm. I'll get it by any means. I hit the woo. Mm. Hitting the woo is like having my fun, mm. then I'm back to business. Mm -hmm. Then we are back to business, we're mm -hmm. back to recording, we're back to writing, mm -hmm. we're back to pushing the music, yeah. Okay. Yeah, basically. All also, right. there's the, the, the pre-hook that says, mm -hmm. who gonna stop the boy? Who mm -hmm. gonna really stop the Your boy? Uh -huh. Who gonna stop us? I'm asking them who's going to stop us, yeah? So we'll get it by any means mm -hmm. here. Okay, so thank you so much for coming through. Sweet up. And when the album is out, please come back. We listen to a few more songs. I'll be here, and definitely. Have Another conversation. Okay. This was interesting. Yeah. Yes. So Thank one you. more time, remind people where they can find you on social media and your YouTube channel mm -hmm. and your digital streaming platforms. Uh, Kid Rucha everywhere. If you type Kid Rucha, you know, uh, mm -hmm. two, click, uh, two words, yeah? mm -hmm. two names, Kid names. Rucha, Spotify, <laughs> everywhere you could think of, you'll find me. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So thank you so much for coming through. Mm -hmm. So let's listen to By All Means. Yeah.